Hello everybody, my name is Michael from Aspecto and welcome to Open Telemetry in 5 minutes. Today we're going to focus about the Open Telemetry Collector and why you should care about it and everything that you need to know to get started with it. So the Open Telemetry Collector is a must-have component in any Open Telemetry de deployment. So if you are collecting Open Telemetry data, you will have to run Open Telemetry Collector, either yourself or by, by a vendor, but someone will have to run a collector. So if you plan on running it yourself, this session is for you. So let's view our diag diagram here, kind of an architecture diagram that explains us exactly how everything works. So as you can see, you have your services that within them, you, um, the Open Telemetry distribution, the Open Telemetry SDK is installed in both services. And when they are sending data, they are sending it to the Open Telemetry Collector. The Open Telemetry Collector will get this data and then distribute it to any place, any destination you, you want to. Uh, Jaeger, vendor, some database, and if any kind of destination that you want to send your telemetry data to. In case you don't going to run the collector yourself, you are going to run it using a vendor. So in that case, it would probably look something like that. You're still going to have an open telemetry SDK, either um, a native one or the vendor's one, and it will send it to their collector. But today we are focusing on the situation where you are managing and you're running the collector yourself. So what is the responsibilities of the collector? So there are three main things the collector is doing. Number one is responsible on getting the data, receiving the data in the right protocol, in the right format. The second responsibility would be to export it to the right destination in the right format. In between, we are going to have this processing mechanism that is going to allow you to filter the data, alter the data, buffer it, do all kinds of interesting things in between the receiving and the exporting aspect of it. So this is the concept of it, but let's dive into the actual configuration of the collector to have better understanding how you can configure it as you want it to run. So let's take a look at um, our collector. And in here, you can see that we have the main definition of the collector. Here we're defining the different pipelines that we're going to do. Open telemetry collector is a data pipeline component. It receives data, change it, and then distribute it. So we're talking about pipelines and we have a specific pipeline for traces, metrics, and you could have logs as well because those are the three um, data types that open telemetry can ingest. So when we receive traces, we are going to receive them in the o in OTLP. OTLP stands for Open Telemetry Protocol. So we're receiving it in the Open Telemetry Protocol. Then we're doing a batch processing usually done to buffer the data and improve performance. Then we're going to log everything that is um, error message and above. And lastly, we will send it to Jaeger. Same goes for metrics. So here we're going to handle only metric, only traces, and here we're going to handle only metrics. So we will get the metrics in the OTLP protocol, in the open telemetry protocol, batch it, log it, and send it to Prometheus. So this is kind of the definition of how the pipeline looks. But let's dive into each, each component and explain how it works. So the open telemetry protocol, you just need to define which protocols you want to use. I'm using here both HTTP and gRPC. Um, usually both are supported. And depending on the programming language you use, um, the SDK language that you use, you may use different uh, protocols. So I'm supporting both. So those, this will work both for traces and metrics. Then we are looking at the processor. The processors allow us to do a batching, and we are doing a batch of one second. Of course, in production, I probably put it in a higher value, something like 10 seconds. And once we need to export the data, so we have three different types of exporter. The simplest one, just log anything above a row. Um, export to Jaeger, so just export it to the endpoint that um, that Jaeger is there, and the Prometheus um, just de define how you want to uh, scrape the data to Prometheus. So those are the things that you need to do in order to get started. Um, 
one of the main benefits of running open telemetry yourself is that it allows you to take the data and distribute it in different ways. So for instance, if you want to check out the vendor, so you're currently in production and you are uh, working with Jaeger and you are um, happy with Jaeger, but you want to test out an additional vendor. So all you gotta do is you go to definition below Jaeger, you just add another vendor. In, in my case, um, this is the endpoint to send to Aspecto, and then you just uh, provide authentication. You take this exporter, the Open Telemetry HTTP exporter, and just add it after Jaeger. That means that now you will send the traces both to Jaeger and to a Spectre or any other vendor. Then you can evaluate the vendor, take a decision, and a week after, a month after, decide I'm working only with Jaeger or only with the vendor. So running open telemetry collection by yourself is going to give you this flexibility to change vendor to stream the data in different ways. To spin all of this up, um, you can just use a Docker Compose or any other uh, orchestration for Docker. Uh, running Jaeger is fairly simple. Just use the image, provide the configuration which we just saw, and open the relevant um, um, ports. Same goes for Jaeger. Um, use the uh, Jaeger image and configure the ports, and you wouldn't be surprised, but Prometheus is kind of the same. So you don't have much to do in order to get started with it. Um, so this is like a very brief view on the open telemetry collector and one, what you can do with that. And if you want to dive into open telemetry with more details, you can check out our open telemetry bootcamp. It's free, um, vendor neutral. We are just here to share the knowledge that we have with open telemetry. So you can check out the bootcamp. This is a series that is going to take you from um, the basics of open telemetry to know everything that you need to know. Um, and we do have episode uh, discussing specifically um, uh, the open telemetry collector that will be episode three. So um, if that's what you're interested in, check out episode num number three. Thank you very much. I hope you learned something new.